Welcome to Gazun Tarif, guys. This video is about one of my feather dusters. Yesterday I noticed that the body of the worm was coming out of his tube. So the feather you normally see is a crown of worm that lives in a tube. And it is both a feeding apparatus and a breathing gill. The crown of the feather duster is composed of a series of feather shaped rays called radiolis. The radiolis are arranged in two half circles that form a funnel shape in many species. This particular one I've had for probably about four years. I have about a dozen currently in my tank and this one is one of the youngest. It looks like it's looking for something. The body of the worm itself is about brown and goldish. Here's another one to the right of it, looking healthy. I'm not worried about this. I think this is normal behavior. Once in a while, they will stick out their bodies a bit more outside of the tube itself. If you look to the left, I have my two paratus coral with my feather dusters on those. And another feather duster, which is kind of grayish looking, a bit like my beard. I love these creatures. Apologies for my fish, just they always tend to photobomb when I'm doing a video of my tank. That's my Disjardine. Absolutely beautiful species. Oops, there you go again. Thanks very much. Now get your butt out of my sight. Come on, move it. So there you go. These creatures are fascinating. I absolutely love them. Now this morning, this feather duster looked perfectly fine. Its body is now back inside its tube and it's feeding okay. Like I said, I got this really tiny, very rare to find a tiny one. And it's grown quite large over the last four years. 